going on YouTube? It's Tuesday, which as always means Tackle Tip Tuesday. A few weeks ago we did something, I was talking about organizing soft plastics and I had a lot of uh, comments and people seemed to like the whole tackle organization idea. So I just want to show something how I, when I'm on the road, how I organize my rods. Now I know this may not fit for everybody, but I know there's a lot of guys who, you know, they're getting into having a rod for every everything they're doing you know worm rod crankbait rod and and some lakes you might need just two or three and then you may go to a new body of water and need all kinds of rods so you know for me i carry when i go to a tournament i probably have about 50 rods with me all together and you know there's there's things like i'm sure you've seen the rod tubes that go on top of the vehicles i'm not a big fan of that and the only reason is is there's been some some issues with people uh breaking into them stealing rods and plus you put just your rod in there you can't put your reel so i just want to show you real quick what i do when i'm on the road to carry all the rods with me and there are other systems here but this is just kind of the basset on a budget redneck system literally what it is i went and got a four by eight piece of uh, roof decking this is awesome now i will say i have an eight foot bed so this probably isn't going to work for the guys that have the regular six foot bed sorry guys um get you two two by eight by tens and it's, you want the 10 i'll tell you in just a second and then you just need a little piece of it's just wall like veneer stuff real thin like uh, i mean it's a quarter inch you don't really need you just want something along the bottom there um all this i think cost me about 38 dollars you know prices vary but literally what i've done is just gone in with the two by eights here laid them vertical Tack the other, like, I call it a veneer. I don't know what it's really called. You can find it. All you really need is just a little bitty thin piece of wood. I mean, you're talking, it's like a quarter inch thick. Um, and you need to cut your two, you're gonna cut your two by eight to eight foot, obviously, because you have an eight foot bed. What you're gonna use that other two foot for is going up about halfway up it. You wanna take those two foot sections and tack them down up there screw them down as what that's going to do is it's going to give you different channels so for here i got like my seven my seven sixes um big cranking sticks i go to like my seven two seven threes and then in this compartment over here this this channel that i have going from these boards uh i have my seven my seven foot and i have spinning rods and some like 610 6104 uh jerkbait rods so and then right here in the middle that's just a little block that i had you can or can't do that whatever you want to do i just do it because i load down all of our stuff for the fishing derbies and whatnot something else i've done and you may or may not want to do this i just do this so that my my reels stay looking new i don't get a lot of rash on them from riding you know thousands of miles i just took some old carpet right here cut it slid it up in there works great doesn't look great there are other systems out there you know I'm, I'm sure you know what brand i'm talking about but there are plenty of other systems that slide out and do all kinds of stuff this right here does everything i need cost me about 35 40 dollars doesn't look great but it's functional i can put all my other tackle and all my other stuff right on top of it best thing of all is i can leave all of my reels attached to my rod rigged up ready to go so if i'm out on the lake doing something i need to come back in snatch up a new flipping stick or something like that it's good to go i'll give you all a little closer look at it right there you can see sorry it's a shaky I'm gonna take this off the tripod just so y'all can see what's going on here so you can see up there is where I have <clears throat> made kind of some different compartments so just wedge it up there got a little support board in the middle and then got another kind of compartment up here just lay, literally laid some carpet down and uh, oh on the carpet be sure to cut that about 15 inches is a good rod to, or a good reel to uh, end a rod length. And so just, is what I'm getting at is make sure that you, it just is long enough for the reel to sit on it. You don't want it to go further because of your crankbaits and stuff will get hung on it. All right, guys, that's Tackle Tip Tuesday. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to comment and subscribe. Look back next week. We'll probably be actually on the water finally. I know we've been talking about it, but we'll be on the water hopefully uh, doing some jerkbait fishing, maybe spinnerbait tips. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all soon.